Hey everybody, it's Dr. Mallet with the Laceration Course. Now we're gonna talk about the vertical mattress suture. So on our Artesia Medical uh, Practice Laceration Kit here, I'm using one of the, you can look, zoom out here and you can see all of them, but I'm using this one right here, which really simulates um, a lot of tension, you know, kind of like a gaping wound. Uh, that may be under significant tension. And that's where the vertical mattress suture is very, very helpful. So another way to talk about and think about the vertical mattress suture is the far, far, near, near, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're going to enter the tissue far and come out far and then go back near and then come out near. So it's a near, kind of like the deep, aspect of the of the uh, of the suture deep and far come out deep and far and then go in near and more superficial and then come out near and superficial and then you're going to be tying the knot right over here so this is another great suture to have at your disposal when you've got a wound that may be under significant tension and you're really trying to reduce that tension in the wound okay so what i'm going to do here this is definitely one that you want to be able to utilize your non-dominant hand, okay? And that's with the uh, tissue forceps. So I'm gonna go far and deep, all right? And then if you look right in here, I'm gonna come out right at the base of this. So this would be like a very deep dermal suture here, okay? So this is where I'm gonna be utilizing my tissue forceps, okay? And Expo use your tissue forceps to expose the, the wound in the tissue. Get down nice and deep right there, and then come out. So, as you can see, we've got the far, far aspect of the horizontal mattress suture done. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the tail down so that we've got a little bit to tie with, and then going in the opposite direction here, now we're gonna do the near, near, okay? So I'm gonna use my tissue forceps to grab, and I'm doing near and a little bit more superficial. Okay, you see that right there? And then come through and do the near. Okay. All right, so you can see we've got the far, far, near, near, and then when you tie this off, you're gonna be tying it off right here on the same side. And so I'm gonna be doing my instrument tie, okay? There you go, with two ties. And obviously, I mean, no practice kit is 100% perfect, uh, but what you're trying to do is, you know, get into the practice or into the habit of practicing your techniques by utilizing one of these practice suture kits and uh, so that when you're ready to, to start working on real patients you've got the ideas and the concepts down. So this is our vertical mattress suture far far near near tying on one side. Okay and actually what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and just snip this and I'm going to try that again on one of these areas where there is less tension just to make it a little bit easier okay so we're going to go right up here right up above and we're going to do a far deep and then far coming through here okay, pull through got our tail lying off to the side there okay and then we're gonna we've reloaded the needle driver we're gonna come right back through so we've got the far far now we're doing the near and the near And then we're going to do our standard instrument tie with two throws coming 
Two throws, pull it nice and tight there, or snug, and you're able to get good um, reapproximation of the edges. So that's our first throw. And remember, whenever you're doing your instrument ties, every single time you're going in the opposite direction. All right, that allows the knots to lie down nice and square. They won't slip. You're usually tying anywhere from three to five throws per suture. All right, so there we go. Now we've got two vertical mattress sutures. Great stitch to have at your disposal. Then we want to remove these, uh, kind of same as, uh, as earlier. You can take your needle, or I'm sorry, your uh, suture scissors and just go right down where that thing is, where that stitch is, a little snip, and it pulls out. Alternatively, you can come over here on this side where the knot is, if you feel a little bit more comfortable right there, and just snip, pull out. All right, there we go, folks, the vertical mattress suture.